Welcome back to this very special edition of My Way, showcasing our hand-picked must-do experiences in far north Queensland. And while there are a few ways to explore the region, one of the more special ones is to jump on board this 1960s silver bullet train called the Savannah Lander. And on the way, meet Savannah guide, train driver and devoted protector of animals, Will Kemp. I don't want to put on an act for him. I just want to show them some authenticity. I want to be the man that I am. I'm not pretty. Um, I'm not the most eloquently spoken. A bit rough around the edges. But um, I reckon I'm pretty North Queensland. So if you come on tour and you have me as a driver or guide, I think you're getting a, a pretty good experience of what North Queensland is. Hey, g'day. My name's Will, and this is more than a train. All aboard! Straight out of high school, I was lucky enough to start working in zoos, and I did that for about 10 years. I've got a massive interest in wildlife, and I really got to focus on Australian native wildlife during that time. The last year when I was working in zoos was right at the end of that global financial crisis, and the zoo that I was working at the time was in a really bad situation financially, and they just couldn't afford any of the keepers. They couldn't afford to pay us. Will worked unpaid for six months to look after the animals until a fateful day when an old friend turned up with an opportunity that couldn't be more different to what he was used to. When he initially asked me if I needed a job, I mean, I replied yes. And he said, do you think you can learn how to drive a train? And I said, no. Hey, how excited are they? <laughs> that just seemed so foreign to me. My entire world before that had always been biological. I'll let them get their photo. It was certainly a scary thought, but I had nothing to lose. See you later. I thought I'd better give it a shot. So, as Hamish said earlier, we're your drivers. And we do everything. We're not just drivers, but we're guides, toilet cleaners. You've got to do the lot when you do this job. So, I hope you're happy with us. Uh, if not, Steve. While it's a regular government service, the announcement may be a little different to the city lines. And because you're on the Savannah Lander, you're going to have a really opportunity offered to you. Does anyone want to get out of the train and walk across the bridge? We're big on the selfies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there was an actual point where I all of a sudden felt like I was fitting into this job, but driving the train and coming across a native animal on the track and getting out, getting that animal, taking it off into the bush and letting it go. Yellow spotted monitor, Varanus panoptes. Beautiful. Go on, mate, you go back in the bush. It really made me feel like I was having a, a bigger impact. When I got back on the train, I get bombarded with questions from passengers about them. The railway corridor really makes nice habitat for them and we tend to find them right next to the line. No one expects that they've got a driver who has that kind of knowledge and, and experience up his sleeve to now be able to deliver the message that I wanted to deliver. You ask me what is There's not too many places left in Australia where the railway looks like that. You know, it's still the best example of an old school pioneering railway you can get on and travel in Australia. For our passengers, there's a lot of nostalgia. We start off in Cairns and we travel through the oldest growing rainforest on the face of the planet, which is pretty amazing. And then we transition into the savannah. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of different changes in between, but um, you really got to see it to believe. I remember one American family was on board. They thought it was just amazing. This was the Australia that they wanted to come and see. Obviously, when I got the job, it was going to mean that I was going to be away for four days every week, which is a bit of a bummer, depending on whether you like your partner or not. I really like mine. She's great. So we talk to each other several times a day. So I do miss her when I'm away. I do not see the Savannah Lander as a job. It is part of my life. The friends that I've made, I wouldn't even know how to number them all. Everything from the sunsets out here to the encounters that I've had with animals, there's so much that has impacted me, like seriously, on an emotional level. I'm a much better person for it. I'll be doing it for as long as I can yet. I can't picture myself going anywhere. It's, it's too good of a lifestyle. 
Australia's a big place and you can come out here and listen to what it has to say. It might be the wildlife and the vegetation out here that you want to take back with you and tell everyone about how great that is. It might be the Indigenous people. It might just be the fact that you've never seen a full set of stars in the sky at night. But the one thing I want them to take back with them is that you've got to get out and you've got to see it. Head to savannalander.com.au for bookings. After the break. Wouldn't be too many places you could go that humans haven't had an impact. That's next on My Way.